Uh, what's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid-10 Outdoors. <clears throat> I'm at one of my favorite spots in the wintertime. Um, if you're looking for a place to pop your RV up during the summer or something and transitioning from north to south or whatever you're doing, Cedar Creek Recreation Area, put it on your map. It's a U.S. Army Corps of Engineers campground. But it's a gorgeous campground. Uh, very nice sights. Very nice sights. Um, but I love coming here in the winter because it's pretty well shut down to people to camp. But people walk it, uh, walk their dogs around it and stuff. But uh, what I'm going to do is I've actually got my 35 millimeter with me. I've got my drone with me. And of course I got this camera with me so I'm going to do some uh, photography and uh, work with this 35 millimeter a little more and get the drone up, get some aerial stuff. So uh, stay tuned, there's going to be some other things coming on here, on this video. But uh, it's kind of cool out this morning, got a nice wind blowing. Uh, it's in the 40s, but uh, lake looks gorgeous. Lake. Until it's windy too. All right, we'll back in a little bit. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the drone footage I got. <clears throat> I'm 
I'm really going to be using that a lot more this year. Yeah, I wanted to bring it out here. It's pretty windy, so I did really good with considering the wind I got going on. Uh, flew for a few minutes. I mean, I didn't fly for very long. I need to get another battery so I can fly it longer. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna take some. Uh, actually, gonna put the drone up. Keep this camera out. May do some time lapses or something. Um, it is a pretty no cloud in the sky today, so kind of hard to do a cloud time lapse. But I could do a time lapse of the lake, I guess. Uh, hadn't seen any critters. I saw a couple squirrels coming in. Um, that's about it. But anyway, um, I'm gonna stop for now. Move back a little bit. Okay, so we're in another part of the park, or the recreation area. This is the beach area that you can come hang out at during the summer. Um, so if you're camping, there's the camp spots right over there to Cedar Creek. And then you just walk over here and there's the beach. Of course, you got beach surrounding the place too. But then they got pavilions and stuff like that. Pretty nice. Uh, sand volleyball. My kids used to come up here and play volleyball after high school. And uh, in the evenings. Playing pretty late until the sun almost went completely down. So, yep, it's a neat little park. Like I said, you can only camp during the summertime. And it's the between Labor Day and Memorial Day, or Memorial Day and Labor Day, whichever one it is. I never can get those two straight. So, uh, I'm going to walk around a little more. I got the 35 with me. I'm going to do some more 35 shooting uh, throughout here. Because I'm going to send this roll of film off and get it developed. I actually got somewhere I'm going to try to send it and see how they do. They send them back to you digitally, which is pretty cool. But anyway, won't be long, guys. We'll be hitting the road and doing some more camping. But for now, this is what we're getting. So, uh, yeah. Let me put it up and uh, I'll be back. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was just me getting out. Whoops. Getting out at this park that's closed. Uh, like I said, if you're RV or van lifer or whatever, looking for a really nice place to stay, um, this is a nice place for a good couple of days if you need to hang out. You're not far from Nashville. Uh, Cedar Creek Recreation Area. Remember that. It is a uh, U.S. Um, Army Corps of Engineers um, park, a recreation area. Like I said, you can do some boating. Uh, if you've got a boat, bring it with you. Um, got your kayak. You can kayak in this peninsula behind me. Um, it gets pretty, uh, goes far, pretty far back. Uh, but you can also kayak around the shore. I wouldn't want to get too far out in the lake with it. Um, let's see what else. Um, but it's got fire pits, nice picnic tables at all the um, campsites, fire pit. Uh, I can see shepherd's hooks everywhere for lanterns. So you've got all that available. So if you wanted to, you know, camp here for a couple days, you could. Um, like I said, during the winter time, those people know that uh, the park's closed for the winter as far as camping. We come out here and walk around. And so I'm tuning up my legs because hiking's coming back. And I'm hoping in the next couple weeks to get my first hike in of 2022. My first hike in since 2019. So, we're getting back to hiking. We're getting, you know, of course, pick right back up and camping like where we left off at last year. And we know all the camping trips we did last year. We did a bunch. Um, so those are coming. Um, hope you enjoyed the video that Chloe shot in New York. Uh, that was something kind of different for the channel. You know, Chloe shot a couple of videos here and there for the channel, but uh, may have some more of that stuff coming. We'll see. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I appreciate all the new subscribers and all the new viewers and people that view the channel. View us on Instagram, Facebook, um, all those social media places down below are links to them. Or, of course, you know, there's, sec you know, there's spots everywhere for to get to mid 10 outdoors whether it be mid 
mid10outdoors.org, um, whether it be you know any of the other places. Don't forget my affiliate links down below if you go and buy anything from those guys. It helps me out. And I need all the help this year because we got some big trips planned. And it's going to take every dollar we got. But if I don't have any from anybody, we're still going. So I would love to take this full time. If not at the end of this year, end of next year. So please share with your vast social media network and all your good friends. I love this outdoor community. It's probably one of the best communities on YouTube by far. You don't have us bickering back and forth at one another like you do some of the car channels. Some of the gun channels are, are just can be ridiculous sometimes. It's like a bunch of kids. That's what I love about us outdoor channels. Um, you know, we love nature. That's all we care about. We don't care about who you voted for. We don't care about your political views, your color, your, your you know, whatever. You're an outdoor person and you have a love of nature and I can appreciate that. I appreciate everybody. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Be prepared. See you on the next one.